July the 12th, 2014. This is a photograph of uh, Reactor 5 at Fukushima Daiichi in Japan. Uh, new problems have developed. This article was published on July the 6th, 2014. They've shut down uh, Unit 5. After, you know, it's been in mothballs after it was discovered that it had been leaking water. Uh, around July the 15th, they need to get the thing back uh, running again, the cooling system running again, because uh, this is a pumping station where it pumps underground uh, water to cool the systems at Fukushima Daiichi. Uh, at the time when the cooling system was switched off at around 12 p.m. on Sunday, July the 6th, uh, the temperature in the pool in which the rods were submerged was 23 degrees Celsius. Uh, it started increasing by about 2.2 degrees per hour. If no new water, cold water is pumped in at such a rate, uh, it will reach the dangerous threshold of 65 degrees Celsius uh, about the middle of the month. Since Tempco is using seawater for many of its cooling needs at the power plant, it has previously encountered heightened levels of corrosion and sensitive equipment. The cooling system at various reactors has also been beset by calamities from rats short-circuiting control panels and forcing a blackout to an employee accidentally switching it off. Though all were resolved before any meltdown occurred. You know, these these folks over there at TEPCO and the Japanese government, they're just letting us know the very basics. They're not I don't really think they're telling us all that's going on. It just keeps getting worse. Uh you know, it's just something for us to watch because it not only affects them, it affects the whole world. Uh, from sea life, you know, marine life, and, you know, everything. It's just a heads up. It's something you need to keep your eyes on, and I'm going to definitely be watching it. Uh, just stay safe. Uh, thank you for watching my video. If you like it, hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much. God bless.